Okay, first of all, Congressman Tiffany, uh, good morning, and all to the ranking, all these members of uh, the Natural Resources Committee. First of all, I want to really thank everyone for the invite and the opportunity to come to Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, and present my testimony on this H.R. Bill 7072. Uh, what I'd, I'd kind of like to tell you a few facts about Forest County and the town of Wilbino, first of all. It's, and of course, you th I think you all know it's located in northern Wisconsin. And Forest County, it, it's got its name because of all the trees. Uh, it's been reported uh, that uh, Forest County has more trees in it than stars in the sky. So whether that's, I think it's factual, to be truthful. On uh, and the subject of numbers, Forest County only has about 9,000 people in the entire county. So we, we don't have a lot of numbers up there, but I just want to say our representation is very good. Congressman Tiffany was at a uh, Forest County Supervisors Committee here meeting about three weeks ago or so. Uh, we've had both senators from Wisconsin come and talk to us uh, up there in northern Wisconsin. So I think our representation it, it does a good job for us. Um, the other thing about Forest County I think that's really interesting, we have two federally recognized tribes in Forest County. And I believe we are the only county in the lower 48 states that can say two federally recognized tribes call Forest County their home. I think it's rather interesting. Um, one of the main concerns really about Forest County is the lack of private land. And, and we've heard this number of times in this statement today. Um, the Forest Service controls pretty much 50% of our county, 50% of the land. Now, that's roughly 340,000 acres that they control. Now, we're talking about 14 acres in this bill. Just think about that. Uh, but we'll go from there. Um, the other important fact about Forest County uh, with the non-taxable land between the federal and the tribes and the state and a lot of the agricultural lands and whatever, we're down to 10% taxable land. And we have to try to provide services, law enforcement, health, social services, all this on this amount of land. It's very, very difficult. It's very trying. So here we are, we're coming to Tony's Ready Mix, and I want to talk about just a little bit about this because uh, here, and we have to look at every business in, in Forest County, uh, small businesses or whatever. Uh, he employs roughly 18 full-time people. Think about this, 18 full-time people, but our community is only about 1,000 people. I mean, you, you start taking 18 full-time jobs out of 1,000 people, where are we going to go? I mean, where, right now, Tony is very reputable. He's, he's, been in, he's not a fly-by-night operator by any means. Uh, he's got a home and a family. His kids go to school there. I, I think that we really need to keep this business in, in Forest County and Wobino to keep things moving forward. Uh, basically, you know, and I can see I'm getting close on my time. I just want to add one point here. You know, I'm the supervisor of Forest County. This land is in my district. I, I, I really think we really need this bill to pass. We, uh, without it, I'm, I'm really afraid of it. And as I think Congressman Tiffany had mentioned, uh, we have some letters from the Chamber of Commerce and the Forest County Economic Devor uh, Development Partnership and the Town Board. So uh, again, I, I see my time is just about done, so I, I better say thank you.